Kia ora and welcome to Te Kahu o Kiwa, OFC's home of football in Tamaki, Makoro, Auckland. For this, the official draw for the OFC Under-17 Championship 2023. My name is Chris Kemp and I'm the Competitions Director for the Oceania Football Confederation. And joining me today is Phil Parker, OFC Player Development Officer. Phil, welcome. Kia ora. Kia ora, Chris. Phil, to start off with, can you just give us a bit of an idea of how important this competition is to player development in our region? It's a very important um, tournament and competition. Um, it, it helps players to uh, aspire um, to the very highest level. Um, it's also the gateway to the world. Uh, qualification uh, winning, uh, getting top two, um, opens up the door to the, uh, to the Youth World Cups, FIFA World Cups. So, um, as a child, you can dream big, um, and this is the first point of our entry through to the rest of the world. Awesome. Thanks, Phil. Thanks again. This latest edition of the OFC Under-17 Championship will be hosted in Fiji, starting on January the 11th, and the final taking place at HFC Bank Stadium in Suva on January the 28th. The tournament marks an exciting return to international football for this age group across the Oceania region following the eventual cancellation of the 2020 edition. 2018 Champions New Zealand will be one of the 10 teams participating alongside hosts Fiji and American Samoa, Cook Islands, New Caledonia, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Tahiti, Tonga and Vanuatu. The teams will be drawn into three groups, groups A, B and C. Group A will consist of four teams, while three teams will make up the other two groups. Teams have been seeded based on the final placing from the 2018 edition and divided into three pots. In pot one, we have seeds one to three, and they are New Zealand, Tahiti, in Fiji. In pot two, we have seeds four to seven, Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia, Samoa and Vanuatu. And in pot three, we have American Samoa, Tonga and the Cook Islands. We start the draw uh, by drawing the teams to occupy position one in their group. First, we draw a team from pot one, followed by a group from pot A. And we'll repeat this three times until position one in each of the groups has been filled. We then move to pot two and we'll draw uh, allocated to the groups sequentially. The first team drawn going into group A, the second into group B, the third into group C and the fourth back into group A. And then finally we draw the teams to occupy position four in group A and position three in groups B and C. Once again, we draw a team from pot three, followed by a group from pot B. And once again, this is repeated three times until the final positions in groups A, B and C have been completed. Phil, now over to you to begin drawing the teams. Please draw the first one from pot one. New Zealand. New Zealand are the reigning champions and in this competition hunting a record extending 8th consecutive title and ninth win overall. And now the group that they will be placed in. Thank you. Group B. New Zealand in Group B. B position one. Thanks, Phil. Back to pot one. Fiji. Fiji is the host nation and they finished fourth in 2018. 
and this time hoping to go better and emulate their under-19 side who recently reached the final of the OFC under-19 championship in Tahiti. And their group, please. Group A. Fiji into position A1. And lastly, the final team from pot one. Tahiti. Only New Zealand has finished runners-up on more occasions than Tahiti at this competition. And the group for them. Group C. Tahiti in position C1. Now we move to pot two. Please draw the first ball. To go into position A2. Samoa. This will be Samoa's fourth consecutive group stage appearance. Next ball, thanks, Phil, into position B2. New Caledonia. Three-time runners-up New Caledonia will have high hopes of achieving that feat again and booking a place at next year's Under-17 World Cup in Peru. Next ball, thanks, Phil. Into position C2. Vanuatu. One time runners up Vanuatu, losing a close final 1 0 to former OFC member Australia in 2005. And the last ball going into position A3. Papua New Guinea. Their previous best result was reaching the semi-finals in 2017 where they lost narrowly to eventual winners New Zealand. Now we move to pot three. First team ball, thanks Phil. Tonga. This is Tonga's first group stage appearance since 2015 where they picked up a famous main tournament win, a 2-0 victory over American Samoa. And their group, please, from that, from that group. Thank you. Group A. So Tonga taking position A4. Back to pot three, thanks for Cook Islands. This is Cook Islands' eighth appearance in the group stage for this competition. And their group, thank you. Group C. Group C, position three for the Cook Islands. And the last remaining team, thank you.
American Samoa. And their group. Group B. Group B, position three for American Samoa. Each team will play each other once in their respective groups with the winners, runners up, and the two highest ranked third place teams from each group advancing to the quarterfinals. The four winners from the quarterfinals will advance to the semi finals. The winning sides at the final four stage will earn qualification to the FIFA Under-17 World Cup 2023 in Peru. They will also face off in the final on January the 28th, the winner being crowned Oceania champion. This concludes the draw for the OFC Under-17 Championship 2023 and the three groups are as follows. In Group A, we have Fiji. Samoa, Papua New Guinea, and Tonga. In Group B, we have New Zealand, New Caledonia, and American Samoa. And in Group C, Tahiti, Vanuatu, and the Cook Islands. Thanks again, Phil, for your help with uh, today's draw, and good luck to all 10 nations as they prepare. Uh, for this, the OFC Under-17 Championship 2023. Thank you.